Hi everyone, it's Justin. I get questions about my skincare routine a lot under my videos and I always think, well, I don't do much. <laughs> but actually, if you get me started on which products I use and why, I could talk for hours. So today I'm unpacking my skincare and showing you the entire process in the morning. The process depends on the mood, how much time I have, the season, how tired I am and look, and which products I'm currently testing. First things first, in the morning when I get up, I apply a pad like this onto my eyes, here. It's liquid, you can warm it up or you can cool it down in the freezer. This was just in the fridge, it should be in the freezer. And then you, you use it, it melts, you put it back into the freezer and you can keep reusing it. It costs about two euros in a pharmacy. So here is only cool, not cold, so I can put it directly, but otherwise, you would want to use a cloth if it's really cold so that you don't damage the sensitive skin around the eyes. That helps me wake up. In summer, I would typically use more of this, which is a, a roller, anti-fatigue serum with a ball, metal ball end here. The texture of it is really, really light. It absorbs very well and the metal here is cooling but in winter i need i need more <laughs> i need more help <laughs> then i would apply some eye cream onto my eye area here i like to use pharmacy products because they're ophthalmologically and dermatologically tested which is good for this sensitive skin. The cream itself is also really cool. Cool as in not warm. This is a very nice feeling on the skin. It's already starting to look better. This is La Roche-Posay. It's fragrance free. It's from the pharmacy and many products from the pharmacy are very well tolerated by the skin, even if you have skin allergies. Then if my skin is dry, I will use this, which is the Caudalie Serum, SOS Serum. The texture is amazing. It's extremely lightweight, absorbs super quickly, highly hydrating. So I will put some of this, like some, a lot of this, everywhere. You can't really put too much. <laughs> Well, up. and also on the chest because the skin on your neck and on your chest is just as sensitive as the skin of your face. People tend to forget to put their face product also on the neck and the chest, but it's important. Shoulders a little bit, since we're here. Voila. This is Caudalie from their Vino Source range, which is uh, containing grape water. The fragrance is extremely discreet. That's another advantage of it, because I don't want my face care to fight with my perfume. Then hand cream. This is a fantastic one. I love the smell. It smells slightly citrus-like. Also a lightweight texture. It's from a brand that is based in Berlin. So supporting local businesses where I live. The texture is fabulous. It's vegan and it's all natural. And actually I'm, I'm doing this because every time that I will hydrate my face, I will also hydrate my hands. The skin on the hands is, is also very sensitive. So it needs attention. And also in summer, if I'm using an, a cream with an SPF on my face, I will also put SPF on my hands because it makes sense. Voila, that's all what I'm doing for now. Um, now I'm going to have breakfast and let these creams absorb. All right, I had breakfast, also the sun is out. Uh, the rest of the routine now. The face cream for the day that I've been using for years is Nivea Q10. It's a good basic one. 
It's a little bit heavy, a little bit greasy. It's very nourishing, but that's because of the SPF it contains. A cream with SPF will always be heavier than a cream without SPF. That's just how the chemistry of it works. But it's a good basic one for every day. It's SPS 15. When I'm wandering around in Berlin, or generally speaking in Northern Europe, it's fine. When I was living and working in the south of France or in Chile, though, that wouldn't be enough. I would go for an SPF 30 according to European standards. You know, across the world, the standard is not everywhere the same. So an SPF 30 of a French brand will be more protecting than an SPF 30 from an Australian brand, for instance. It's crazy because you would think 30 equals 30, right? <laughs> but it's not the case. Since we've been working a lot more from home in recent months, I've started to use this, which is the Caudalie Mattifying Fluid. This doesn't have an SPF, hence the much lighter texture. Very lightweight, a bit like the serum that I used earlier. So this I put everywhere on my face again. And I must say, the formula is fantastic as a makeup base. It doesn't shine when I'm filming videos, for instance, it's perfect. Everywhere. Again, if you're wondering why I'm layering creams like this, you know when I, before I became a designer, I was working in the cosmetics industry together with dermatologists. I've never heard ever a dermatologist say you are overhydrating your skin. <laughs> that does not happen. So the more the better, pretty much. And here again, I do the neck and the chest as well. So this doesn't have an SPF, but if I'm not leaving my flat, it's all right. Hop. Now my skin looks a little bit more alive. Sometimes I will add some BB cream. This is the basic Nivea one. Not every day, only when I'm specifically tired or I have redness for whatever reason. This tube uh, for me lasts forever. It's not foundation. It's not high coverage. It just gives the skin a little bit of, a, of evenness. See, you can still see my veins underneath. It's not makeup, technically speaking. One thing that I will use, however, is concealer, because even if I slept 12 hours, I will always have blue under eye circles here. Don't tell me you hadn't noticed. <laughs> They're always there. So I correct the color with this. This, this is high coverage. This is like foundation. And I also have visible veins here that I will cover in the same step. And I forgot my makeup sponge. So I'm gonna do it with my fingers, but it's fine. See, the thing is, I look and investigate to find the right tone. Then the season changes and then it doesn't match. <laughs> so I have several ones several tones of the same brand and depending on the season I use a different one and you can tell that is not completely matching if it's too different versus my skin I will use setting powder that is toned tinted to even out the color around the eyes but actually if it's a little bit lighter than the rest of the face it illuminates the eyes so it's not it's not that bad. Okay, that's it for the face. Now moving on to the body. I use this oil by Garnier, which is very oily, either in the morning or in the evening. It's, it's literally oil, but it's not cold on the skin, so I enjoy it. You can't put on your clothes right after you apply this oil. You need to let it dry a bit longer, but you can use the time to meditate in your underwear and enjoy the five minutes of break. The other body oil that I use is Nux Huile Prodigieuse. If you're French, you probably know it, in gold version. So the 
the problem with it is that the smell is very intense the fragrance is intense but look at that it's hollywood and can in one bottle it looks fabulous if i wear this i won't wear perfume the other one that i have for when i travel is the mini version this has a less intense fragrance so it's a good alternative and you also exist in a big bottle this is the normal real prodigious i have both just in case <laughs> i might also just open the bottle and have a sniff for a good mood on a cold and rainy day and then my latest addition is the bronzing water mist by saint tropez this I've been looking for a self tanning lotion or product for a while and this is one that many of you recommended to me. It doesn't turn orange, it doesn't stain the skin. Amazing. So I'm still testing it. I've tested on body parts. I haven't tried it on my face yet, but so far so good. I like it. I'll report once I've used that one more. What else? I also have this hand balm from Aesop. You often find it in hotels as well. I need to switch hands now. <laughs> this, it's pretty rich. It smells a bit more strongly. This is the Resurrection Aromatic Hand Balm. I'm not sure the, what the English name is. It's a bit richer. See, so I use that during the day. This tube will very likely be somewhere on my desk so that I don't forget to rehydrate my hands along the day. I pay a lot of attention to my hands because it's my working tool so um, I'm looking at them all day <laughs> so are you so it's important to rehydrate the hands every time I feel like my face also needs rehydration I might also have a mini tube from the Carité L'Occitane cream also a classic in France but also in Germany I have to say where I live and either the Aesop one or the L'Occitane one, I have a mini of in my purse. What else? Lip care. We haven't talked about lip care. My lips are extremely dry all around the year. A lot more than my face. I can't go a full day without lip care. So I have a lip balm in every purse, backpack, in every coat that I own, just to make sure that I always have one with me. And I use that 50 times a day. And if I'm wearing lipstick, I will put lip balm before breakfast three times, <laughs> after breakfast, before the lipstick, so that the lipstick doesn't dry during the day. And in summer, I will use a lip balm that has an SPF in it, because, you know, if I'm protecting my face and my hands against the sun, I should protect the lips as well. Now, that's it for the skincare. But I still need a bit of help. So even on the days where I'm not wearing makeup, I will still do my eyebrows. See the difference? I'm filling in where I don't have enough hairs. Real quick, this is not a science. And I'm not a makeup artist, but I extend the eyebrows a little bit towards the outside. It makes my face look a little bit more balanced. I've done a video on how to find the perfect eyebrow shape for your face shape. I will link it in the corner of your screen if you want to have a look. Voila! I might add a little bit of mascara or curl my eyelashes up. I have them dyed a couple of times per year when I go to the beauty salon. Not this month because it's locked down. Because they, they are brown, but when they're black, they're a bit more visible. But I'm already looking more awake. <laughs> Let me know if you have skincare products that you would recommend. I love to try new products. I do enjoy French brands quite a bit because they often have a very light, discreet fragrance and it's good if you want to wear perfume on top. I actually have a full video on how French women wear perfume, how they apply it and the reasons behind it. If you're interested in that video, I will link it here in the corner and down below in the description. 
thumbs up if you enjoyed this little bathroom chat. This is not my bathroom, I wish. <laughs> I'm in a hotel and I thought it would look nice in a video. I will see you soon in a new one and until then, take care. Bye.